boys and girls, welcome to uh, Escape the Pacific. Escape the Pacific is a uh, is a Pacific Ocean based survival game where you are stranded in the early 1800s in the Pacific Ocean. The actual uh, I'm just gonna do a new. I'm not gonna do a new one, but I'm just gonna like show you the new the setup. So the actual game when you set it up, you actually choose your character, David or Gabrielle. Gabrielle's not in it yet. You also choose the time flow, the number of hours. Oh wow, they changed this. Two hours for three days, one hour for three days. Why do I have it? Should be set. It should, oh wow, two hours for three days. Oh, they've changed. They've changed this up a little bit. This used to have very few options. It was like thirty minutes an hour, or six hours, or a day per day, or whatever. Interesting. So you actually can choose your time flow. You also can choose what season you're in, and all the all the uh, all the weather is determinate on um, uh, actual NOAA weather charts for the area, as far as like your day night, your daylight and night cycle, the the rain, whether it's going to be rainy or late autumn, dry. Uh, usually, I just start in the with all this stuff here. Just the normal area. Uh, but you can also choose if you want it to be hotter or colder. If you want it to be windier or calmer. Or more or less rain. You can also turn off or on pirate ships. Um, we already have a file that's been going for a while. This file we have actually uh, achieved our second cluster on. We have our second cluster. Um... And uh, we're exploring it now. We're exploring our second cluster right now, which is really freaking cool. This is our map. We have our little map here. That's land ho. That's our that's our initial that's our initial uh, island there. We're on the large papaya isle right now, and we have these other islands all around us. Now, if you zoom out far enough on our map, you'll actually see that was our first cluster. We are currently somewhere up in this area up here. We do not know yet where because we have not used our sextant to get a good position on it. So we, we've not we've not done that yet. I'm not good with the sextant. I don't exactly understand it. Um, you have your basic. It's a very basic game, but I like it for that because I'm a basic kind of guy. Um, we have our basic menu here. You have your hunger, your, your overall health, your hunger and your thirst. You have your tiredness, your stamina, you have your food diversity, your vitamin C, and your salt. If your hunger, thirst ever get to 100, you start to lose health. If your food diversity ever goes to zero, you start to lose health. If your vitamin C or salt ever goes to zero, you start to lose health. Uh, if it gets too hot, you can start losing health. If you get too tired, if your tiredness ever reaches 100 and it's nighttime, you can pass out wherever you are, which can be fun. Uh, all of your... Crates and satchels and backpacks have two factors for each one as far as weight goes, or as far as capacity goes. You have a weight capacity and a volume capacity. Uh, as you can see with the uh, with the crates, they have a 20 weight and 126 volume. Uh, so we're almost at the weight max, which means that we can't, say, put these sticks in there because each stick weighs one and it doesn't it doesn't allow us to put any more weight in, although we have lots of volume left. Um, you have water barrels that you can store water in. Any other water that you leave out can basically go bad or basically it just like it evaporates away. We also have um, we also have our crafting menu that has regular tools in it, has equipment like beds and backpacks and fishing traps and that sort of stuff in it. Uh, it has boats. And then recipes for all the different foods that you can make. And you can actually farm in this game as well. You can plant carrots, corn, potatoes, and uh, and hops. Or uh, hemp. I'm sorry, hemp. Um, so it has recipes for all that stuff. We also have a building area which has pillars, floors, roofs, walls, openings, shelters. It just has everything you could need to build houses. You have your skills. Your skills all start out really low. And as you as you do actions, as you do things like chopping or crafting, you get you get better skills. Uh, you also have your journal, which has all sorts of different hints on how to use different things. Uh, there's like a basic quests in there. There's not a story yet, but there soon will be. There's also achievements for survival, uh, for traveling, for collecting. 
because like I, I've done a lot of traveling. I'm a sailor. I've sa I sailed for over 10,000 meters. Hunting, collecting, and then you have tutorials, which you can use if you really want to have fun with that. So there's a lot, there's a lot to do with the game, but the basic thing is just to explore. Right now it's morning. We just woke up from a nice night of sleep. We got our little island here. As you can see, this is our island. You can always, you can always escape and just see the island that you're on. We got our little island here, which is kind of cool. It's got a lot of good palm trees on it. It's got a lot of lumber on it. Um, it's actually not a bad, it's not a bad little island, but it's got, what it mainly has is you see these little trees here. Those are all papaya trees. Papaya trees are very key to your survival. Papaya trees give you the best papayas for your money. And papayas give you vitamin C, which is very important. And if you let the papayas fall, you'll lose papayas. Now there's also bananas. Uh, there is there is different uh, food categories. I guess that's something I didn't go over really. But the different food categories, the diversity part you have is land, sea, and fruit. Papayas, and bananas, coconuts, even potatoes and carrots count as fruit, even though potatoes and carrots aren't really fruit. But uh, those count as fruit. Fish count as seafood, and um, and oysters also count as seafood, and then everything else counts as land food. The uh, the land food includes crabs, turtles, seagulls, um, all that stuff counts as land food. So. Let's see. So what do we got in here? We got some we got some planks in there. Can I switch those. Can I switch those over? Okay, I can switch. I can switch eight of them over. What's in here? Oh, there we go. We can put all those in there. There we go. Put all those papayas in there. Got lots of papayas. We got a couple of raw potatoes in there too, which is nice. Got sticks in there. We got some. Papaya. God, we got tons of papayas. Holy crud. That is a lot of papaya, boys and girls. Let's get out our hatchet. We need a little bit of water. Let's get our hatchet out. Let's uh, break open one of these coconuts. Drink that. That'll get our thirst down a little bit. Coconut water is always the best way. It's, it's, it's always fresh. It never goes bad. If you leave it in the coconuts, it never goes bad, I should say. Uh, so coconuts are a real good way to get water. Really good way to get water. Um, I say we head back over to Land Ho. Drop off some chests. Finland, hello, hello. Ah! I I did ask the dev to give us a stick holder, because or a, a paddle holder, because it's kind of uh, kind of annoying to have to. Drop your paddle every time you want to move the move the boat. All right, there we go. Go back to land. Ho! There's a little cheaty move you can do. You hit shift M. Oh, you gotta hit her just right. Splash, splash. There we go. Wee! <laughs> Now we're now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. I like the nightlife. I like the boogie on the disco. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know, Luger. I I don't know if the, I don't know if that statement is true. But yes, Finland, Drunken Monkey is here. Drunken Monkey is in the house. And we're gonna play this for a few hours, and then we're gonna play a bunch of Icarus again tonight. I'm, I'm really excited to play some more Icarus tonight. I really, truly am. Um, I've been really enjoying... I've been really enjoying my time with Icarus. Um, it's been actually a very fun game to play. Tonight, we're just going to do it a little solo. Sorry, I had something on my phone there that was bugging me. Uh, tonight, we're just going to do it solo. Um, mainly, the play tonight, I just want to kind of show you guys around a little bit. I, we will choose a mission. But I want to show you guys around a little bit and just show you some of the crafting and building you can do. And, um, yeah. Luger driving hard for hard to the hoop for a streamer's pet. Hey, you know. That's okay. L Luger, you, you, Mark Wars, you will always be the streamer's pet. So, 
Nobody else could ever quite take that away. Oh yeah, we even built a little house here. Forgot about that. We built it. We built ourselves a little house. Look at that. Look at our cute little house we got here. See, look, we even built a plank house. Now that that is some that is some highfalutin building right there, boys and girls. Where did my paddle go? Oh, there it is. Hiding. See, this is our this is our raft that we built. We got our corral, our our coconut corral. This is our house where we stacked up all of our crates. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the crates I got in here. Holy crud. Ah! Didn't want to do that. Goodness gracious, land of Goshen. Too windy. I wonder how it's why it's too windy. That's so weird. We yeah, we installed some candle sconces on our walls. See, look at our look at our cute little house. Our cute little house is so cute. We got all of our we got all of our water and stuff in here. We got we got crates upon crates upon crates. Now you can snuff these out. You can just extinguish these. It's it is cozy. It's it's my cozy little it's my little getaway. My little getaway from it all. Now I don't know exactly what we have in all these crates. Oh look, we got some fish. Let's eat eat a couple of those. Eat them salted meat. All right, good. Our diversity, we definitely need more land food. Okay. We're a little bit thirsty, so we'll drink a little water. That water's not too bad. That water's not horrible. Neither of those waters are actually that bad. But yeah, we got we got a nice little... Uh, how long do candles last? Um, well, as you can see, they are actually burning down. This candle is 83. This candle has 83 left in it. This candle is at 83 um 93 so they do actually burn down they last quite a while though i mean these are these are very very high still because you put them in at 100 and they basically burn down as you use them but they last for they last for quite a while they do last for quite a while Take that candle holder off of there. Put it over here instead. There we go. I was afraid of burning my house down. <laughs> I I don't th I don't think you can burn your house down. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think you can. It does not look like it's stacking up right, but that's okay. That one got in it. Oh, that's got a bunch of stuff in it. Got a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Somebody's got to sort these out at some point. Oh, those are empty. Nice. Yeah, somebody's got somebody's got to somebody's got to sort out all these crates at some point. Somebody somebody's a little bit of a hoarder. Those are all those are all empty. Great place I got I know, isn't it? See like here's a here's a candle that's at 26. So that can that candle is almost gone. That candle is almost gone. This is an Icarus, the house is safe. Yes, this is an Icarus. The house is safe from games left. <laughs> hey oh we're taking shots at games lift even though he's not here 
poor games. Like, what did I ever do? I didn't burn your house down. I'm like, yes, you did. <laughs> so basically, our whole goal at this point is I wanna I wanna loot up the rest of these islands, bring all the chests back over here, have a, an entire house that has all the chests I can find. <laughs> And just explore around. We've, we've already built a house here, which is cool. Whoa. Put the small chest over here. What's what's in this one? Oh, just some more papayas. All right, we got more. We got more. We have more papayas than I think we'll ever, ever, ever know what to do with. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put all my papayas in an empty chest. Let's see, let's grab out, let's grab out these papayas. Grab out these papayas. Let's see, do I have more papayas in here? Oh yeah, I got more, I got plenty more papayas. Good lord! Oh wow, that's too many papayas. Okay, so that that's, that's a full chest, that's a full crate of papayas. Good lord. Wow. Instead of escaping, you set up a papaya trading port, exactly. Can never have enough papayas. Can never have enough papayas, boys and girls. Those are sealed jars. Let's see. More papayas there. We also have a lot of bananas too. More papayas there. There's some dry papaya there too. See if I have any other papayas scattered throughout here. We've got lots of bananas. Lots of bananas. All right, that seems to be my only... Do I have more? Okay, that's jars. These are all corns and carrot seeds. I could set up a farm. We could do a little farming. That'd be fun. It'd be fun to actually get a farm set up for ourselves. Actually, that metal tankard, I can take that and put it in with my other, my other cups. There's my cups. That's one thing I wish they would allow us to do. Yeah, I'm ready for another cluster trip. I wish they would allow us to, um, I wish they would allow us to mark our crates. That's, that's the one, one complaint I have, and hopefully they will take care of that somewhere down the road. But for right now, I wish, I wish they would let us mark our planks. That, that would be, that would be super -y, duper -y nice. There we go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Krabs. So sorry, Mr. Krabs. The salmon aren't drying very quick, but that's okay. Put a few more salmon on there. Put another piece of meat on there. Got my cooking pots under here ready to get due. So what we need to make first, before you do anything else, before you do do anything else, uh, to, uh, to, before you start farming, what you need to build is you need to build some composters. You need to have some composters going on. We're going to slot a composter right there. And uh, we're, we're going fancy because we have lots of planks. Let's slot another composter right there. There we go. That one's kind of not lined up right. That one didn't get really lined up right either. It's so hard to see sometimes. There we go. I can scooch it out there so I can get it placed just about there. There we go. That's what I like to see. Boop, 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 boop. That's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, let's go grab some planks. 
the first thing you always do is put out the schematic. The next thing you do is you grab the materials you need for that schematic, like these planks. And then you come over to the item. You have to have the item in your hand to be able to put it into the into the item that you're building. So if you need planks, you got to put planks on. You can see that there's a meter up there that's telling me how many I needed. So I need 11 planks to start with. And so we need 22 total planks. So we're going to be one plank short, I believe, because we had 21 on us. Yep. One plank, one plank short for want of a plank. For want of a nail, my friends, for want of a nail. So we'll take one more plank out. Finish this one off. And then the final thing you have to do is get your hammer out. And you have to say, you have to hammer them. Now, uh, the composters take three components. There's three components that you have to put in any composter. You have to put sand. You have to put bio matter, which can be food, which can be bananas, which can be rotten food, anything like that. And you also have to put sticks or leaves into it. I usually find that the best things to put into it for myself is low quality food and some sand and 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 then like sticks and stuff you can put into it as well but you want to get an even mixture of stuff in it too so right now we have just a little bit of sand in it actually I could I could um grab that there we go there we go that's good all right put this back underneath there Boop. <clears throat> thinking oh well that'll just be faster that way now I believe so I'm gonna get this up to like 30 30 percent full do it all with sand there we go so now the next stage of what we want to put in there we want to put some biomatter in it we can make biomat biomatter can be um everything anything you can eat you can put in there i'm gonna choose since i never eat them Woo! ml just bought a teacup oh nice thank you for the thank you for the teacup purchase there i appreciate that very very much thank you very much for that just ordered you a teacup teacup oh nice enjoy i i should be getting mine here pretty soon where did i put that coconuts where did i put a lovely bunch of coconut oh there it was a lovely bunch of coconut well i enjoy it grass rolls salmon and sand is how i got it got it for a quick start Wish I could like have this stuff equipped and stay in my hand so I don't have to do this each time. That's kind of annoying. I'm just I'm just gonna dump all this coconut in there because we're up to 55% now. 57%. We got a 56.44. Uh I don't have any grass rolls though. That's that's the thing. I don't have any grass rolls. I wonder, can I put dead grass in there? Does that work? I can. Oh, look at that. That Oh, that works good. I like the dead grass. That's a pretty good mix on it too right now. I got more dead grass, so that I like that. The dead grass works good. I have so many dang papayas. I could just put papaya in there if I wanted to. Put one more papaya in there so we got a good we got a good mix 36 34 29 we need just a little more food one full fish trap and three grass rolls will practically fill it up well, i don't have a full fish trap unfortunately i don't have i don't have a full fish trap i wish i did but i do not but i do have lots of papayas
There we go. 92%. 34, 32, 33. Straight across the board. I like that. All right, let's get this one going too. Now, see, we do get a little bit of compost. If all you have is sand in it, it will, but it accelerates the compost when you when you put more stuff in it. When you put more diversity in it, you get you get a much more accelerated, um, much more accelerated uh, experience with the composter. So uh, let's grab. Uh, I wonder if I can just put coconuts in it. Can I just put coconuts in it? Oh, I can. Wow. Can I put brown coconuts in it? That you cannot put in there. Interesting. Uh, so, Smelly Fries, we are building composters right now so that we can start a farm on our island. Uh, you have to have compost to feed your plants. You basically... Anything you're growing, you have to feed it both compost and water. And if you don't feed it either item, it won't grow. It'll just kind of stay where it is. Um, so right now we are we are building our composters so that we have lots of lots of um, compost going on. Actually, I'm going to leave that here because we'll need a coconut pot to to compost all of our stuff out of. And then we can grow potatoes and carrots um, and stuff like that. One full fish trap and three grass rolls will practically fill it up. Yeah, you're barely getting by. Um, read that, then come back with questions. What? Oh, <laughs> is your goal to escape the island? Oh, no, your goal is to escape. See, we have, we're right now in a cluster of islands. We're in a cluster of islands. This is our new cluster, which is actually northeast or northwest of our first cluster we already explored this one completely and then we went on to this one and we we're now exploring our second cluster and and for me personally the game's mostly about exploration there's there's not there's not a lot of uh there's not not a lot of uh danger in the game other than you know starving and stuff like that uh but it's mainly about the exploration is what you want to do uh, so far, there is really no real escape option. No. Eventually, the game the game designers have indicated that they want to have a, a uh, way to actually escape from the Pacific. But right now, that doesn't exist. You basically, you have to find clues. Like, we found, we found these couple of notes. Uh, where's my notes here? We found these couple of notes that tell us where where other stuff is, um, and and one of these notes told us that our that our our uh, that our next cluster was to the northwest. Now, in theory, we'll find another note here that leads us to another cluster somewhere else, and so on and so forth until we finally get to a place where we can actually escape from this Pacific, from the Pacific. Ooh, nice. Water time. Turn the water down a little bit. The water's very loud and weird sounding. And I know that. They're working on it. So it's actually surviving the Pacific. Yeah, well, escaping the Pacific is the ultimate goal, Joshua, but surviving. Surviving is is when is when uh, is what we're doing right now, so. boop a -doo. So rainstorms are how you get most of your water. Rainstorms are how you get most of the water. Yeah, the top the top link in that Pacific uh, thing that, I, that was put out there, that is the uh, that is the official website for their for their game. So I recommend if you're interested, go check it out. They got a lot of stuff. And to see how big your route, yeah. Well, my, my raft is pretty good size. I got a pretty good size raft here, um, but I definitely want to make it make it a little a little more stylish for when I travel next. Can't make a fire out here right now. 
Um, I do need to get some, uh, there's a carving rock. I need that for the inside of my house. Do, 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 do. Go check out our fish trap. And you're making dried papaya jokes, yes. We like we like the dried papaya jokes. Alright, then we need to get some uh, I'm just gonna grab some sticks because I can always make some more. Oh, the dried papaya jokes? Uh, they look like daddy bags when they're on the uh The, the dried papayas look like daddy bags when they hang on the uh, drying rack. <laughs> and they do. You'll see. Uh, there are no tornadoes, although they are going to be adding in... Um, they're going to be adding in hurricanes as well as, uh, as well as tsunamis and other weather stuff as the game goes along. Right now, the weather can get pretty bad. The rain, the rain's pretty. The rain's pretty much the extent that you get. You get really bad rainstorms. Um, but they are intending to do other stuff down the road. Um, I want to craft inside. I want a indoor campfire. Fire sticks for that. Drop these sticks here. Sometimes it's just too windy. Oh, there went my. There, there went my. See now we now we're all lit up. Now we're all lit up, boys and girls. Build a, uh, let's craft up another fire striker real quick. They aren't that hard to make. There we go. There we go. See our, see our nice little key, see our cute little house? Our cute little house is all lit up for the night. A little bit of water in here. And water in barrels does not evaporate, but it does eventually go bad. Um, you'll you'll be able to see there will be a little meter on the on the water barrels that kind of gives you a, an idea where the water is at. Um, that meter has a couple of things that you can look at. Uh, each water barrel will have the the uh, small barrel water. It'll say 19, or like this one says 30. So this one gives us more hydration when we drink it. Um, and then the, then there's a little eyeball right next to that number, and there'll be a little pip. Right now you can see this one has a green. This one has green that's a little high, and this one has nothing. So this is really good water. This is sort of okay water, and this water is getting pretty bad. So this water here we probably won't want to drink. Because we'll probably take damage if you drink if you drink water that's getting a little bit bad, uh, you'll take damage. Now the good thing about bad water is that your plants don't give a crap what the water's like. Your plants are like I, I like water no matter what. So usually I'll start making a barrel out here that will will do a plant over here. We'll make a garden over here, and we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to have those plants uh, uh, watered by that stuff. So. You always want to keep your water, even if it's going bad on you, it don't matter. Because you can always use it to water plants, because plants just don't give a crap if the water's stale or not. The plants are just happy to have something that's not seawater. I'm going to get some sleep here pretty soon. How tired are we? Yeah, we're 67% tired. 
Night sky sure is nice out here though. One thing you can do that's really cool is you can come sit down. Hope you can sit on the beach and you can watch the sky. You'll, you can actually watch the sky go by. You can, if you look at the stars, see how the stars are turning. So it actually shows the earth. It actually shows the earth revolving. Which is really kind of cool. It's a cool little detail. Oh, and sticks come in many forms, and they all break down into other sticks. All sticks break down into other sticks. So you got long sticks that break down into small sticks that break down into fire sticks, and so on and so forth. I do not like the way those are positioned there. Grab out these small sticks, add them to our fire here. We now need three carving rocks and some sand. So carving rocks, we can get off of this thing here. That's why I brought it up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give, give, give me carving rock. There's one, there's two, there's three. Yay, we got three. I just like putting all my sticks under my bed. <laughs> it's a small, it's a small victory, but to me, it's a victory. It's better than keeping like a dirty sock under your bed, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Good night, Mrs. Honeypot. You just came by to say good night. Well, good night, my dear. And say good night to Mr. Honeypot for us as well. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And uh, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out today and tempting us with food. There we go. See, now all of our sticks are nicely lined up. Now all we need is some sand for that campfire. So we'll go grab, we'll go, actually, let's grab one of our pots here. Oh, it's already got some water in it. Let's go throw the sand on here. A little more sand that on there and there's our little fire there's our indoor fire put the pot back under there yeah the dew catchers are really good if you really if you're needing if you're needing water the dew catchers pick up a lot of water at night especially if you put pots or bear or uh uh especially if you put the pots or the um whatchamacallit, the buckets underneath them. You get a lot of lot of stuff. There we go. All right. Uh, there's our bed. Let's sleep it. Sleep till sunrise. And all the different beds in the game uh, give you different bed conveniences. As you can see, we have 140% convenience in that bed. You can, if you want to, you can just sleep on the ground. It has a 40% bed convenience. Or if you really want, you can sleep on the beach. That has a 30% bed convenience. Um, I don't know where my other bed is. I can't find it now. So dark out. That's one thing. It's really, it's really dark out in this game. This game is very dark. Oh, here's my other bed. Now the simple frond bed only has 120%. You cannot make candles. No, but you find there, there are lots of candles you can find in the game. Lots of candles to find in the game. So different beds give you different convenience ratings. So like this one here, that that the the banana bread, the banana bread, the banana bed is a really really good one. The banana bread. <laughs> Quack, have a great night. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate it. Oh wow, let's do our early morning. You always want you always want to come pick up your coconuts early in the morning, boys and girls. Coconuts, get your coconuts right here. The coconuts always fall early early in the day. 
Early in the day, you get the coconuts dropping. Oh, 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 one's gonna, one's gonna escape. When you bring them back, you wanna drop the coconuts in your coconut corral. It'll give you guys night vision. It'll look really green, because this game has a very green tint to it. But this will let you see what I'm doing. I can sort of see what I'm doing, but you guys can't see what I'm doing. So we wanna make a little quick circuit of the island. Grab some coconuts. Bring them back over to our coconut corral. Because if the coconuts go into the ocean, then they're gone. Coconuts that fall into the ocean generally disappear forever. So you don't you don't want to have your coconuts go in there because your coconuts, they give you a good steady supply of water. If you really need water, they'll give you good water. And they also give you coconut, the brown ones give you coconut husks that you can then use to make, um, you can actually use those to make rope, which allow you to attach things to your boats. And also make bows and stuff. Yes, the coconuts, if you don't collect them, they roll into the ocean and they they, they go bye-bye. They're gone bye-bye forever. Which actually I, I like I like that. I like I like that they don't hang around forever. They're they're not always persistent. Now, that pretty much holds for any item. Um most items, if you drop them on like say the middle of an island, they'll hang around forever. They're persistent forever they don't they don't disappear or nothing um but if you uh wow there's lots of coconuts on this island holy crud coconut heaven uh but if you drop it near the ocean the ocean does have a chance of washing it away i have a feeling that same mechanic will hold true once they actually enact um and give us tsunamis and really high tides and stuff like that, I have a feeling that more stuff will get washed away than not. Put those in there. Put that in there. This way I can pick up more pick up more coconuts. Yes, disappeared forever. <laughs> might have to create indoor storage areas for tsunamis. They might wash out everything, even your little fenced area. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. If the tide got high enough, I'm sure it would just take that right over. That's why I usually build my house up on a platform like this. And we might have to even, like, reinforce it and stuff. Um, I haven't checked my house lately. See, these modules don't wear down very quick. All the, all the modules in the game do wear down they don't wear down tremendously and actually these ones haven't really worn down at all mainly because we haven't had any big storms or anything either but you have to periodically check your house and make sure that things haven't worn down i guess me walking on the floor made it wear down or something i don't know i don't know guy you have to build this fire up bigger there we go well, that's as big as you can build it inside not very big hey, look at that now we got a little indoor indoor fire hey, look at that look at our look at our look at our little indoor fire <laughs> oh it's so cute Fire texture. I like the fire. Yeah, the fire textures are pretty cool. And then now each one of these spots here is a, is a cooking spot. And there's also a cooking spot on top of the fire as well. So you basically have 10 spots plus the cooking spot. And you can extinguish the fire if you want. All you have to do is add a piece of tinder to it. And you can light it back up again. So so there's 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 an advantage once you're done. You can just extinguish the fire. And then you can then you can go for it again. Oh, good. That... that, that those those went rotten on me. The spoiled papayas. You know where that's gonna go. That's gonna go right in the right in the in the container out there. Actually, I'm gonna put them in this container. Once spoiled, they never go, they never get worse. But 
Actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna get that container. I'm gonna take my where are my there we go. Corn seeds, jars, there's my carrots, my potatoes, there's my sealed jars, there's my hemp. Get all the hemp. Oh, oh, actually, that's one other thing I need. I need a scythe. I need a couple scythes. Do I have any other? Any other seeds or potatoes in any of these other crates? Oops, what's that? Corn seed, carrot seed. Okay, so we got corn and carrot seeds aplenty. Probably have more than we could ever do anything with. There's some more potatoes. What do you wish to, what, what you could do with that, uh, with, do that, wish you could do that with long dark, add large rocks to your fire pit, add more than two. Yes, that would be great. That would, that would be great if you could do that. I mean, I can see why they don't do that, but man, that would be, that'd be freaking awesome. That would be freaking awesome if you could do that. There's all my, there's all my good, my good stuff, my ropes, my twine, and all that stuff. I'm just trying to figure out everything in here. Okay, there's some candles, some more, some more fiber. There's some taters. There's some dried papayas. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all this stuff to this chest. Oh, I don't want to add the fish in that. There we go. Now this chest will become our, this will be our, oh, look at the sunrise. Ooh, look at that sunrise, baby. This will be our farming chest. Leave that out here. There we go. Now we got some good fertilizer in both of those. Let's grab out a spoiled thing there. Throw that in there. Grab out another spoiled one. It's almost, it's almost, uh, wow, we need to, okay, I'm just going to grab all these out. <laughs> Jeez Louise. There we go. Get that one back up. That one's in a good mix, but we'll need to add some more stuff to it for sure. All right, so we need to build ourselves. We need to craft ourselves a crude shovel. The crude shovels are one of those items that is too big. Uh, so we need a long stick, an axe stone shard. We need an axe stone shard, which I don't think I have, but I do have a long stick. We need an axe stone shard as well. Which for that, we're going to need to find ourselves another carving stone. There is one around. There's some coconuts. Pick up those real quick. Do we have another carving stone around here? Yes, there's one right there. All right. Oh, was that eight? Was that that was pointing at my fish, my fish thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I was pointing at my fish trap. That's all right. We'll 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 get we'll we'll just have to remember the fish traps over on this side. <laughs> we'll just have to remember the fish traps over there. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, let's break this down. See if we can get a see if we can get a shard out of it. There we go. And then you take the small carving rock and you beat it for a bit and you get a Stop hammer stone shard. Rocks. You beat it a little bit longer and you get an axe stone shard. And then you take that axe stone shard, add it to your shovel, and then you get your hammer out, beat that for a little bit more. Black Man PL, hey buddy, how's it going? And now we have a crude shovel. And now we can start farming. Let's start farming, boys and girls. Actually, you know what we're gonna do first though? Before, before before we farm, we're going to get our coconuts. Because I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Daily day. Black Man PL, how's it going, buddy? How you doing today? 
break open this green coconut and drink. Drink. Uh, what, what is this stranded deep ripoff? This is not a stranded deep ripoff. This is a this is a better interpretation of that horrible stranded deep game. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on stranded deep. Stranded deep was an abomination. <laughs> nah, stranded deep's fine. Stranded deep is just fine. I just had major issues with them. <laughs> I just had major major issues with them. Yes, well trolled, my friend. Well trolled, well trolled, Black Man PL. Well trolled, and I hear I was gonna give you a shout out and everything. Now I'm rethinking my my life choices. Uh now I'm rethinking my life choices. But let's give a shout out to Black Man PL. Last playing some StarCraft, and you know what? We also need to uh, uh, we also need to give a shout out to our good friend Black Filtration, who is an awesome streamer. We caught him last night playing some Until Dawn. All around, super duper awesome good guy. Go give both of them some love. Go, go give both of them some love. They're both amazing streamers. Um, so it didn't end in a one. No, 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 no one, no one under. You know, I'm, 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 I'm so, I'm so over. I'm so over. Uh, even just feeling butt hurt over Stranded Deep and how they treated us. That I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun with the Escape the Pacific, which is the far superior Pacific Ocean exploration and survival game. Yes, it does not have boss fights in it. Thank God. But yeah, too bad. Too bad. Why not just ask him about Star Wars? You know, Star Wars used to be good. <laughs> oh, don't even get. Don't even get me started, man. Don't even get me started. Okay, we got one more coconut here. Oh, we got a couple more coconuts here. Okay. Wow, this is definitely Coconut Isle, boys and girls. Coconut Isle right here, my friends. Oh yeah. Oh, we got these fish too. Let's equip the let's get these fish. Can I can I dry another fish? Oh, I have fish here that are already dried. What? 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 Where's my salt? I need salted fish. I need salted fish. I need my fish to be salty. Oh man. Oh man. I got dried salmon that aren't even salted. Ah oh, lord. Do I have any do I have any jars of salt? Oh the, oh I have three I have three I have three full jars of salt in my in my inventory. Alrighty then. Let's salt up some meat, boys and girls. I forgot we did do we did do a, a a total salt night where we salted like tons of good stuff. We got we made everything. It was a very salty night. But that's good. That's good. You know what? Having more salt is always better than not having enough salt at all. There we go. Then we can drop these. And we can salt those too. There we go. Nice and salty, baby. Nice and salty. Put that in there and put oh, put that in there. And I know I have empty jars right here somewhere. Sealed jars. There we go. Put the sealed jars in there. That's my cups. Oh, I have more. I have more salt in there, and corn seeds and stuff in there too, and more papayas in there. What? Oh my god! My whole plan has been ruined. My whole plan has been ruined, boys and girls. I had everything like planned out so nice and neatly. My plan just got ruined there. All right, there we go. Um, where did I put my salt? I just put my salt in here, right? How much salt do I have in there? I got 0.8. Okay. What, what, what the, no, I can't. I can't put the point in there. There we go. There we go. Carrot seeds and carrot seeds. And I got some dried papaya on me. All right. You got that stupid. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly day. And you salt the daddy. You cannot salt the daddy sacks. No, you can't. The, the daddy sacks are unsaltable. Actually, we should just take all these carrots and corn seeds. 
and we should we should combine them. Uh, drop that. Drop that. Okay, that's one whole thing of corn seed then. Pick up these sealed jars. That's carrot seed, carrot seed, carrot seed. Pick that one up. Pick that one up. There we go. Now that now they're all like now they're all like in their own thing. So we got corn seeds, we got carrot seeds, we got more corn, more carrots, and more carrots, and we got four sealed jars. So you can empty out those jars and you can use them for stuff. By the way, sealed jars are great for holding salt. You can also um, you can also store water. You can store a liter of water in them if you want to. Um, if you want to, um, I mainly I mainly use them for salt myself because they just work better that way. It's more of a good use for them. Oh, that screwed it up somehow. It's a sealed jar, but it's screwed, but using it for water screwed it up somehow. That's totally weird. Totally weird. All right. Let's go make ourselves a farm, boys and girls. Says how you doing? Says Gina. I hope you're having a good day. All right, let's go make a farm. Let's go make ourselves Oh, first though, first before we do before we do that, we have to we have to we have to uh we have to clear the grass. I forgot about that. We have to we have to use our scythe I have to use our scythe to uh, clear clear a spot here I trim the grass back trimming the grass wow it's really bright out here really bright out here boys and girls Do 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 do. Oh well. Hello to Turkey. We have a lot. We have. I have quite a few people who watch from Turkey, so it's good to see ya. Pick that up. See, we're getting we're getting a little area cleared off here. Now, what I like to do is I like to spread my my rows out a little bit. I don't like to have my plants planted too close together. It makes me a little nervous, like something bad's going to happen. Because um, the, the 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 picking of, of your plants, of what you're going to water, is a little bit goofy in the game. So I find it better to... Um, to uh, um, To do this where you get a little little you get a little space oh wow it's gonna it's gonna make me go this way okay and you notice all the fields all the stuff we're cultivating has 50 fertilizer and 50 water already on it now that's good as a, it's good as a starting point but it's not good it's not good overall it's not gonna last forever I know we need we need a escape the Pacific lawnmower. Now see I can't do it on on Earth that's not been not been cultivated. All right, so what we want to do then is pick our crop that we're going to put on that area right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots that we can plant stuff in. So let's let's uh, let's just start with some corn. Let's start with some corn. So you just take your little jar, and you plant the corn. There we go. So we got we got corn planted in each one of these plate in each one of these spots. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our little our coconut pot, get a little fertilizer, start fertilizing these. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, they changed that. 
Oh, they changed that. You just you just basically hit it once and it, it puts all of it to, to 100%. Oh, that's way nicer than it used to be. Used to be you had to do that 10% at a time. Now you just hit it once and it just fills it right up. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh man, that is like night and day. Night and day how it used to be. I wonder if it's the same for the water. Doctor Who, 42 with the eight month. That eight month resub coming in hot. One month from our Twitch baby, my friend. One month. I wonder if it's the same for the water. Now I'm curious. Subscribed for eight months. Oh my god, it's the same for the water. Oh, that's such a great change. Oh, because you used to have to do it 10% at a time. And it was so annoying. Now you can just go boop, 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 and it just it, it fills it all the way up to 100 right away. That is amazing. Amazing fruit. That's amazing fruit, amazing fruit, amazing fruit, amazing fruit. That's a great change. I'm so happy they did that. That that is that is like that is like life changing. That's just quality of life addition right there, boys and girls. All right, we're gonna make a second row right there. So we're gonna aim it. See, this way I'll have a little bit of room between my rows. I don't like to, I don't like to have my rows like really tight packed up against each other. Cuz if they're really packed next to each other then it's kind of hard to see what you're what you're cultivating, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to kind of clear the clear the the area around my little farm here I don't like the grass either he who walks behind the rose I am he who walks beyond the rose now the one thing you always pray for when you when you start farming is that it rains because when it rains guess what you get free water you get free water from the sky so you don't have to water your plants for a little while now the fertilizer just gets used up over time so you have to keep fertilizing your plants a bunch because otherwise otherwise it does get used up and they stop being fertilized and they stop growing um, I think I think it, it seems like about under 70% it's is where it stops. Nightmare Fox, how you doing? Put my shovel up there. Open this up. Oh, I already have okay, so we, we already planted some corn. Oh. Alright, so that gives me one sealed jar of corn still to go. I still got a sealed jar of corn and I got a sealed jar there. So we'll put the corn in there. We'll get the carrots out. There we go. You should plant some MJ, some Mary Jane. Oh, well, we plant, we'll be planting some, uh, we'll be planting some, uh, um, some, uh, hops very soon. Hops are the best, hops are the best for the, uh, um hops are your best form of rope making material because it only takes one hop stem or one hemp stem sorry one hemp we'll be planting hemp very soon it only takes one hemp stem to make a uh to make a uh um to make a rope instead of three coconut husks which is really nice I do like that it like lets me water the whole thing in one in one pass through. That is really really nice. 
your stuff keeps dying well once you start it growing you pretty much just have to stay put and you got to make sure you you got to make sure you got compost going on i like how it does the whole thing now instead of me having to sit there and dink around with partial 10 percent and stuff it just like lets me go all the way up to 100 right there that is just beautiful That's pretty much all the fertilizer we have right now that we can use. I, I recommend you do not plant any more than you can actually fertilize. Because you have to have fertilization for it. So we got a nice row of carrots. We got a nice row of corn. Um, we'll plant more stuff tomorrow. We'll plant some taters and some hop, some hemp. Uh, we do need to get our composters back into good shape. I'm gonna trim from around the composters. We're gonna trim. We're gonna trim the verge. Tried medieval uh, dynasty type of field of hemp rather than what I would keep, uh, rather than what I would keep up with on compost. Now I'm just tidying up the now now I'm just tidying up the land. So what do you throw into the composter? You have to throw you throw three things into the composter. One of the one of the items you throw into the composter is sand. It's basic sand. Sand is your base, like it's your basic thing. Actually, that's way too much sand. That's way too much sand. I just need to, I just need to get a little coconut and do it that way doesn't give you it doesn't give you an option for putting more or less so you put sand in it you put food or some sort of food item in it and see how it has like it has like an 84 percent that's how full it is and then the first one is sand the second one is wood or other like materials like leaves or grass and then the third one is food and the more the more your composter is equal parts of those items the better your the better your composter will do oh shoot i put that stuff in there just dang it so you what you want to have your composter be as equal equal in parts as it possibly can be because it will it will do it will it will provide for you quicker than if it's not Empty husk buds can be emptied to compost forever. Bug abuse. Oh, empty, empty husk or oh, empty hemp buds. Yeah, I knew about that. So we'll add a couple sticks here. Add a stick over here. So now we need to add some food. A little more sand to that one. A little more sand to that one. Then we'll add food as the final component. A little more sand. A little more sand. So we're at 37, 36, 27, 33, 41, 26. And then let's go down to our fish trap. We'll grab some fresh fish and just throw that in there. Where's my fish trap? Where's my fish trap? There it is. Just raw fish is a good thing to add in. You can catch more raw fish overnight, so. Oh, it's at 98%. There we go. That one's at 98, so we can't add anything more to it. That one's at 95, so we're good now. We'll add one more fish to it, get it nice up there. 98%, 33, 32, 35. 33, 41, 26, not ideal, but hey, it's what we got, and it's what we're gonna just deal with. Um, we're a little bit hungry, so uh, let's, eat, uh, let's eat some fruit. Get our vitamin C up there. Let's eat a salted fish. Those appear to be the same. There we go. And let's eat one piece of land food. There we go. Uh, let's get a little bit of water for our thirst. I think I can actually still drink this. We're 99. And it took our health down a little bit. But hey, at least we're not hungry or thirsty anymore. So, yay. Does the game get more difficult over time? Not really, no. 
And I'm playing on the easiest difficulty level as well. Uh, mainly the only difference in difficulty levels is that as you go up in difficulty level, uh, you have to use more supplies to make the same, to craft the same items, be that weapons, be that uh, shelters. Uh, as, as, as the difficulty increases, you spend more resources to build the same exact stuff. So... Those are my salt jars, okay. So that's really that's really the only that's really the only thing that it's more this game is more about um, exploration and uh, just discovery than anything else. The the survival aspects of the game, once you kind of get down the rhythm and the flow of of having to keep your food diversity up um well there are different seasons yes there are different seasons um there's dry seasons and wet seasons uh right now we have it set so every three days uh every hour that passes is three days in game and as the game progresses there will be dry and wet seasons where there's no rain or there is rain um there are i i mean you're in the you're in the ocean in the pacific ocean between 20 degrees north land uh, north and 20 degrees south or negative 20 south and so all the weather is going to be pretty pretty calm for the most part but as they're adding in storms and stuff that's that's definitely ramping it up a lot is this a no this is just a oh you poor little you poor little guy Stop glitching around, buddy. Stop gl stop glitching there, bud. I got you, buddy. I got you. Don't worry about it. These are crab rocks. Well, it's actually a seagull rock, but so you can pick up feathers here. We'll actually make we'll make we'll make a bow real quick. We'll kill a couple seagulls. You can also kill the turtles. Poor baby turtles. Someone's very mean. But how you doing, Nightmare Fox? I'm doing great. I'm doing fabulous. Oh, do we have too much? Oh, it's because I have that in my backpack. Uh, let's drop that. Pick that up. There we go. We won't even use the shell. We don't even need the shell. The shells is going to go to waste. I wish it was more adept at equipping stuff that you have multiples of so you don't have to go in your inventory all the time and get it. But hey, that's okay. I'll forgive it this one time. And I wish there was a way to split stacks of stuff without having to go equip. Put it in our inventory. And equip. I need my inventory. I should have just left it. I already had it. I already had it split like that. There we go. Get four of those. Get those four there. Do I have a, do I have a food stash elsewhere? Yes, I do. There we go. I also have bottles of water in there. How are those bottles of water doing? Yeah, they're doing good, actually. Bottles of water preserved for a long time. Oh, I do got a lot of ropes in there, too. That's nice. Got a lot of rope in here too. And some more coconut fibers. I'm kind of sussing out my stuff right now. Figuring figuring what we got. I know I have a bunch of candles in here somewhere. Boop -a -boop. Some nanners. Should grab all the nanners and put them in the in the same the same uh same spot it seems like fresh fruit seems to last inordinately long in the game i don't know why so this game actually considers water going bad oh yeah the water, the water definitely goes bad 
the 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 water the water in here uh is good that stuff's a little bit worse the water in here is down to 29 hydration and it's starting to get a little bit bad and the water in here is at 19 hydration and it's and it's got about halfway on the green mark it'll soon to soon turn yellow and then red and the worse the water gets the more damage it will do to you when you drink it so you got to be you got to be careful uh looking at your water because you can actually take quite a bit of damage from drinking water that's not good for you anymore you got it you got to be you got to be kind of careful about it if you're not you'll look at your health bar all of a sudden and there's no real indication from the game the game get the game never really gives you an in indicator of of what your health is at there's not like a oh i'm feeling sick or something like that it's just you'll look at your health and you'll be like why is my health at 22. I was like, oh, I drank a whole bunch of crappy water. That's why it's at 22. So, yeah. You got you just gotta be very you gotta be very cautious and very uh, aware of where your water situation is at. Gosh, we have a lot of tools too. That's very nice. Um, I'm just gonna throw these in here. Can't carry all that rope though. There's my cups. Um that's oil, right? All right, get the candles out, get the tools out, get the banana out, get that out. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna put oil then, I guess. But there's a bottle of muddy water. I didn't even realize I had a bottle of muddy water. That's cool. There's another cup. That can go in there. Ooh. Where do I put my candles at? Where's my candles? Oh, there's there's a couple of candle holders. Oh, I got more, got more of those in there. More candle holders in there too. There's my candles. I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to get a little bit organized. I've been really bad about my organization. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Those are my sealed jars. Can I put those in there? I'll put those in my pocket. There we go. We got tools in there. There, there. NPCs check. Quest storyline check. Side quest ideas check. Kind of makes sense. You wouldn't initially realize that if you just drank the water, you're equivalent of poison until later. Well, that's true. Did someone say check? How you doing, check? How's it going, check 77? How you doing tonight, buddy? How you doing? How how you doing? How you doing there? Gosh, I got these bottles of oil just scattered out throughout the land. Okay, that's papayas. This has got nothing in. I'm just gonna put food. I'm gonna put food in these four chests here. There's bananas. Put some dried bananas in here too. Actually, the dried bananas I'll put in my regular food because that's stuff I could eat right away. Um lighter up in here a little bit it's a little it's a little dark in here it's too windy huh There we go. See how pretty it is? Okay, I can't do any more big, I can't do any any bigger of a fire. We got all of our, <laughs> we got all these crates. <laughs> it's crazy how many crates I have. I know, it's it's kind of nuts, but it's it's what I do. I collect, I collect I'm a collector. I collect things. Things and stuff and things. All right, where's that other food at over here? There we go. Put that in there. Put the bandages in there. The ropes in there. Oh, I got food there too. Actually, you know what? I sort of like having my food there. 
Throw those bottles of water in there too. Nice. Let's see. That's a bottle of muddy water. That's a bottle of oil. That's a bottle of oil. That's an oil lamp. There's some more tools. There's some bread and bandages. See, we can get all we can get all this stuff consolidated. And then we'll have some empty chests to put stuff in. Okay, so what do we got in here? We got a bottle, 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 bot. So there's just tons of bottles in here. Tons of bottles in there. That's a bot. That's a bottle container. I'm doing good. We're just we're just kind of dinking around. I'm just kind of dinking around tonight. We're just we're just having fun. We're we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of this for a little while longer, and then we're gonna go and play some. Um, we're gonna play a little bit more of uh, Icarus tonight as well. So that I'm quite looking forward to. Oh, this probably needs some more wood. These fires burn down so quickly. Fires burn down very quickly inside, which is why I usually don't use them unless I'm making something. Unless I'm doing something. I'll let the candles burn down. I don't mind that. Candles burning down is no big deal. I can go get more candles. Bottles of oil. There's a lantern. Okay, let's get these bottles of oil. Drop that. Drop that. Oh, that's muddy water. Uh, no, I don't want to drop that. Drop that one. And equip that one. Basic well, basically, we'll consolidate our bottles of oil. So now we just have one empty bottle. And then we got, uh, we'll drop that, equip that, and then we'll pick that one, that bottle up, and we'll fill that one up with some water, and fill that up with some water too. Now we have a couple more, now we have a couple more bottles of water. Actually, I'll just drink that one down. It's weird. Once you put water in them, it's like it's like it acts weird towards you. Now, oh, that's one thing we could do with the muddy water. I can show you how muddy water works. So, muddy water is something that you can get from many different areas in the game. Um, there's different... Uh, there's different um, little ponds and stuff that you can get muddy water out of. And the muddy, the way muddy water works is the muddy water, uh, you can actually boil it into good water. Um, you lose quite a bit of the water when you boil it that way, but you can do that. And it, and it provides you, it provides you some, uh, um, some good water. And it's not, it's not the most efficient way to get water, but it does work. Pot there. Oh wow, look at all these tools I have over here in this thing. Good God, man. I think, I think I'll have tools forever. Wow, just all the, all the different knives and hammers, axes. Wow, Mark Wars, look at, look at all these tools I have. Holy crud. That is a that is a lot of of armory right there. Wow. So that's like eight hatchets, four knives, seven hammers. <laughs> I see no reason to leave this part of this part of this part of the Pacific. I know. It's like we got everything we need. We're just happy campers. We're just happy to be here. It's like, why? Why should I leave the Pacific? It's got everything I want. I could have everything here and I don't need to leave it. There's no reason to leave. All right, let's throw... See, where's the where's those empty all right where's the where's the one that has all the candle holders and stuff in it okay 
that has that. Okay. There we go. A few more lanterns in there. A few more candle holders in there. A few more candles in there. Is water done yet? Yeah, okay. So see, now that water's done. So we basically boiled that water and it gave us 1.1. It was completely, it was like 1.8. So it gave us 1.1. Do you see my Star Trek quote? Uh, Mr. Spock, you're the most cold-blooded man I've ever known. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> yes. Thank you, doctor. Yes, Spock was very proud of being cold-blooded. He did not shy, he did not shy away from that at all. Which, I, you know, you, you gotta be proud of him for doing that. Not shying away from being cold-blooded is not, you know, it's not easy, but he did it. Nah, Spock was awesome. Spock was awesome. Okay, I don't know why I have a rock in here. I don't really need a rock. Oh, it's actually a pretty nice night out, too. It's actually a pretty, pretty decent night outside. Very pleasant, very quiet, serene. Put out our candles. Let's close the blinds. There we go. Yeah, we can even open the window and see outside for a little bit. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Look at our little beautiful, look at our little beautiful view. A little beautiful view of the outside. Dun, dun, dun. There's already, is that a coconut? Is that a coconut on the ground already? The coconut on the ground. Coconuts are already falling. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, we are tired. It's, it's even telling me I'm tired. I'm very tired. Oh yeah, we're pretty tired. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Let's sleep till sunrise. Now, anytime after 40%, you can just wake yourself up if you want to. Before that, you cannot wake yourself up. But after 40%, you can wake yourself up. We're going to actually sleep the rest of the time on the beach. We're just going to hit sleep till sunrise. That way, it will wake us up at sunrise regardless of what our tiredness level is. Um, we'll probably still be a few percentages tired. Sounds like sunrise is coming around right now. There we go. So we're still a little bit tired, but I want to get a nice early start on the day. And there's no disadvantage to sleeping on the beach, so you might as well grab out this water, put this water into the barrel. There we go. You can get you can get like a whole bunch of water with these dew catchers every night. The dew catchers give you a good give you a good water source. I'm actually going to start a now. Nah, I'll just I'll just do this barrel here. That's fine. Do get the dew catchers give you a very nice. Uh, renewable water source uh every night that you every night that you leave it out there you can get like six or nine liters of water which is really nice so definitely definitely get dew catchers up put pots cooking pots or um oh wow we got some good we got some good fertilizer there too all right so these are all doing good these are all doing well they're all getting planted all right we're ready to go on our next batch we got, we'll need to water all that and give it a little more fertilizer, but we got fertilizer in these now, so we can go again. Uh, can you board the ship now? No, we can't board the ship now. Uh, there, there is a, there is a uh, pirate ship that comes by, but we can't board it. I'm going to do a double row of hemp. shovels wearing down I have to hit it hit it more like I said hemp is one of the best things for rope so we want to get it we want to get a goodly amount of that so I'll do just a little double row of hemp here 
And then we'll, then we also need to plant our taters. Potatoes. Uh, not, not, a, not in the last month, Fire Monkey Rob. Uh, the last big update they did was some pretty major changes. They actually, uh, updated the engine that the game runs on. And in addition, uh, they, they added in some new biomes that you can have. Um, they also added in a feature where, uh, when you go to fertilize, instead of having to do each individual one over and over and over again, it just fertilizes it up as much as it can to get to hundred percent and then you're good to go. So that, that's kind of a nice, a nice change to, to the game. Um, it's a good, it's a good quality of life thing that they changed because before you had to sit there on every single one and go five, 10, it, it just, it just went by it. You just had, it was, it was kind of, uh, it was kind of ponderous. Um, but yeah, other than, other than the new Island types, they haven't really added a whole lot. No, uh, the made the major update was them, was them, uh, updating the engine for the game. That was, that was the major thing they did was update the engine. So, all right. So we need more fertilizer, which we don't have right now, but that's okay. Whoops. Uh, let's grab out our hops. Boop. Hemp plants, I mean. Gosh dang it. And each hemp each hemp plant has six seeds in it. And once those six seeds are done, you can go on to the next one. So as you can see, you can plant a lot of hemp off of one off of one hemp uh hemp bud. go oh is it oh does it glitch like that you can just do infinite on it oh but that that counts as uh that counts as wood doesn't it oh that's wild those count as wood not as uh um not as uh food and let the ocean wash those away because I really don't want to mess with them. You need a bamboo tractor for the field? That would be nice. I need a little bit of sand for that one. Get a little sand. Getting these, getting the levels on these things is always, always kind of fun. There we go. There we go. Got a good level on that. Pretty decent level on that one. Pretty decent level on that one. Yeah, the last major update was a new game engine. That that was that was sort of the that was the last like big update they did was the game engine. They they switched it over to the Unity 2020 engine, which I don't know. I don't know if that was like I, I don't I don't know if that if that was anywhere close to what they were running it on before, but it definitely seemed like a lot better, a lot better. Um, we're just gonna water these because why not? And then I think we'll go explore another island now that we've got this this little planting done. All right, let's go let's go let's go let's go explore another island, boys and girls. We got other islands to explore around here. Uh, let's grab a little bit of uh, let's grab a little bit of food here. That's all raw. Boop and boop. Grab a little bit of our food. Um, oh, I need to put those hemp buds back in the drawer or in the spot they belong. I got my little this is my farming this is my farmer's chest down here. My farmer's chest. All right, so let's grab a little bit of food. Um, I do need some rope. Don't need 26 rope, though. I guess I can do that over and over again, huh? Need about five rope. It's the only way to really split stacks right now, which is kind of annoying, but whatevs. 
Um, okay, we got that there. Um, I'm gonna take, oops, I'm gonna take one of these jars. Got a couple fish. I wanna take one more fish with me. And then I'll take a couple of meats. And I'll take a few papayas. How are we on hunger and thirst right now? There we go. Hunger and thirst is gone. Diversity is perfect. Oh, wow. We, we, we hit that one just right. Just right. Okay, let's close the door. Boop. All right. So we got food and water. We got food and some water on us. Got our fire striker. Um, boop, 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 boop. Pull some dry grass. Dry grass is good for fire starters if we need to make a fire. Gave us three dried grass, perfect. And then we need to figure out what island we want to go to next. That's two papaya isle, okay, okay. That's large papaya. Oh, we could go over to C. We haven't really, uh, we haven't explored that. Or we could go to F over here. Let's go, let's go to F. Let's go to F isle. Did we actually, did we dive down to the ship? I can't remember if we dived down to the ship. Well, we get we get to name you get to name your own islands. You get to name your own islands whatever you want to name them. Island names are all up to you. All you have to do is have your map open, left shift, and then you pick the island and you go like, uh, what is it? And that's now what is it island? What is it island? I don't know if I dive down here or not. I'm curious. We're not very tired, so I'm gonna drop my uh, drop my stuff. Oh, what does this I have on me? Oh, I have four sealed jars on me. Why do I have four sealed jars? That's so weird. Okay, let's go throw the sealed jars in here real quick. I don't know why I have the sealed jars on me. That's very strange. I'll probably put them on me for some reason or another. There we go. Whoa. It Cheetos. Boop. There we go. Got our little gardens going. Our place looks so nice. Let's go. Uh, let's go dive real quick and see. I, I I can't remember if I dove down here and got the chest or not. One thing that's really cool about the water is that it looks really good under underneath. It's way murkier than it used to be too. So up top there, you see a white bar and you see a red bar. The white bar is our oxygen. The red bar is our health. If our oxygen ever goes to zero we start to lose health. Swimming's not super hard, but you do have to watch your um, your oxygen and you have to watch your stamina and tiredness. You don't want to do it if you're really tired. Uh, yeah, it looks like we already... No, we did not. We did not, boys and girls. Holy macaroni, we got a chest. We've got a chest. Now none of the none of the fish down here you can interact with yet. Uh, you can't interact with them yet, but hopefully someday you maybe can actively fish, which would be really cool. Ooh, look at that! We got a bottle of water. We got a bottle of oil, an oil lamp, a little goblet, and a tankard. We're just gonna take this up here for right now. We're just going to leave it at the bottom of the steps. And I'm not going to mess with it at the moment. Then you can pick up all your stuff. You do not want to dive with all of this stuff on you. You'll sink and you'll die. That's basically, that's basically, that's basically the long and the short of it. Don't dive with stuff on you. You'll sink and you'll die. And that's pretty much what happens. You sink and you die. Uh, yeah. Now you can get away, you can get away with wearing your, like, your little, your little, uh, uh, satchel, the side satchel. We're gonna glitch it a little bit and just speed along. You can, uh, you can, you can wear, like, your side satchel with very little stuff in it because that's not much weight. 
So if you're going to go diving for, say, you want to go get some oysters underwater, which there are oysters you can go diving for, you can have your side satchel to carry the oysters in. You can carry a knife in your hand. But if you're carrying your backpack or your tool belt, you're just going straight to the bottom. Going straight to the bottom. So... The, wa the water in the game is really nice. They do a good job with the water. And uh, and uh, when it's stormy out, oh man, it is... The, wa the waves get... You get like 10 foot swells and you're like, holy crap, here it comes. Now we're, I'm doing a little, this is a little glitch. If you hit shift M, uh, uh, you can get, you can basically go into fast, fast travel mode where on, ra it only works on, it only works on canoes. It doesn't work on the rafts. It only works on the canoes, but instead of paddling, you basically just zoom right along. Pretty much you just have to be in auto paddle. And then when it hits the splash, you go one, two, three. Whoa. Dump that here. Pull up our boat. I like that hill. That's cool. I've never seen a hill like that on an island before. That's kind of cool. I like it. Now you can also check out the new island you're on by just zooming out. Or just escaping and then zooming out. You can see there's a little chest over here. There's a water barrel there. There's a couple rocks. There's a couple palm trees. Nothing too exciting. There's a little shipwreck out to the other side of it. So you can sort of you can sort of scout it out from the air. It looks like there might be something right over there. Um it's not got a lot on this. Not a lot on this island, but you do want to get save points. I keep forgetting to do that. One thing you always want to do playing this game is save. Save, save, save. You only have four save files and they overwrite each other as you save. But, but if you save, oh, here's, here's the most dangerous, this is the most dangerous animal in the game, boys and girls. The most dangerous animal in the game. It's the only animal in the game that can actually damage you. And it will only damage you if you steal its egg. Ow, ow. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Here he comes. Here he comes. And you have to use the crude axe to hit him. Aha! Aha! We killed you, Mr. Seagull. Mr. Seagull, we got you. Can there be underwater caves or not underwater caves? Ah. Ah! ah. Oh, he'll be back. He'll be back. See, and they're doing damage to me. I'm down to 71% now. <laughs> ah, 71% down. From seagulls. From seagulls. Damn you seagulls. You damn dirty birds. You damn dirty birds. I was told not to trust you. Can't hold any more seagull meat. All right, so we got a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And we got a couple seagull eggs. <laughs> we are the killer of seagulls. All right, we got a little barrel here with some water in it. Boop a doop. Put that on our on our little raft here for our canoe. If you put stuff on the back end of the canoe, you can actually tie it down if you get it in the right spot. Okay, I got that in a bad position. Oh, it's because it's out. There we go. We also have a little chest here, which is very nice. Coconuts over here, which are nice because we can pick up coconuts and put them into our chest. Boop a doo, put that in there. I'm actually gonna put my my uh, raw meat in there and these eggs in there. We also got another some more corn seeds, some more of that. Got a little bottle of muddy water. I'm gonna put my fish and that and that 
and my good water in there. There we go. Now we can pick up a bunch of coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Steely day. Wow, there's lots of turtles. This is Turtle Seagull Island, boys and girls. Is there really not much else here? Turtles and seagulls is pretty much all it has. Put that on its side. Scooch it back here a little bit. Get a rope. There we go. Okay, I can't put any more of those in there. All right. Killer seagulls. Yes, that's the only that's the only dangerous animal in the game. I, I swear that is the only dangerous animal in the game. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move our boat here a little bit. Boop, there we go. Let's also grab our paddle. Unfortunately, we do not have a paddle slot yet, so the paddle sort of just has to do its own thing. All right, there's that. Uh, let's get our map out. Let's see, we got G there, we got H there, we got C there. Is there anything else out in the distance? Gosh, I don't see anything else out there. I think we have to. I think we have to travel to like G or C or H before we see more islands. All right. So this is uh, this is uh, uh, no power in the verse turtle can stop me. Seagull Isle. There we go. Iced out. Thank you for the follow there. <laughs> Iced out. Come on, buddy. Um. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go dive in here real quick. So let's put this in our backpack. Drop that, that, and that. And then go see what we got. This is pretty shallow, pretty shallow water. Oh, now it got deep real it got deep real quick. I wonder if there's a shark out here. They do have shark. Oh, there's a shark. There's a shark. They do have shark models in the game. Check them out. Check them out. Ooh, they don't do. They aren't alive yet. They don't. They're just a placeholder for it. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that nasty, that nasty scars. It's like I'm gonna eat you, Athena. I'm gonna eat you. Look at my teeth. Look at my teeth. But I want to ride the shark. I want to ride the shark. Sharks don't do anything yet. Just wait though. They probably will. But yes, the shark the shark models look pretty cool. They just added those in about a year ago, I think. Haven't really done anything with them, but they look really, really intimidating. I'm curious to see what happens with them. I don't even know what's in this crate. All I know is that I will be taking it with me. See what's in this crate. Oh, we got some cheese and some more cups and stuff and things. Nice. That's weird. I just glitched a rope there. I think I glitched a rope there. I love the colorful fish, though. Colorful fish are really cool. The sunken ships are kind of neat, too. I hope they add some more details and stuff to them. Right now, most sunken ships will have one to three chests on them. They usually have they'll usually have the large chest that we just got. Then they will also have a sometimes they'll have a a small or a medium sized chest on them too. I don't see that on here though. I'm very buoyant right now. Nope, I see no more chests. This looks like a this looks like a one chest deal. Alright. Now there is there is the possibility you can get oysters underneath the ocean here too, but I'm not gonna go searching for those right now. You'd have to go out pretty deep. Pirates didn't rob much. Nah, they didn't rob too much. Alright, so we'll put on our stuff again. You just hit P and it just automatically puts your stuff back in its spots. 
Um, I think we I think we should head over to G. Yeah, I think we should head over to G because G is sort of the next one over there. Yeah, G is sort of the next one over there. So I say we head to G. Ah, oh, G. How do you get your health to go back up? You sleep. Uh, you sleep and you just, you basically make sure you aren't starving or thirsty or any of those other bad things and it will slowly go up and then you can get a lot, then you get a lot of health back up when it, when you sleep at night. So sleeping at night is generally the, the best thing to do. Um, that, that gets your health up the quickest. Yeah, it helps you recharge the batteries. And 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 you do get I think you get better health if you sleep say on a on a bed than say if you sleep on the ground. Um I, I believe you get better I, I believe you get more health regen back. Okay, I don't want it to do that. I want it to stay. Just stay. There no, nope, no. Nope. Stay, stay. But yeah, I think I think you get more back if you sleep in a bed. But I can't swear to that. I'm not 100% sure on it. I'm just going to make a few more water holders here. You can mix coconut water and regular water. The game doesn't really care. Can you put too much on a boat? Uh, in the future, yes. Right now, no. The devs have said that in the future, though, you can put too much stuff on your on your boat, and it and it will it will basically capsize your boat. But as of right now, no. Uh, it, there does come a point uh, where if you put too much on your boat, the boat starts acting a little weird. Um, I think it's just because the game is trying to render everything and have everything move at the same time, and so if you put too much on the boat, it can cause some rather unexpected problems so generally you want to keep your boat pretty simple I actually actually one time I built like a whole house on my boat and and that boat didn't go very <laughs> that boat that boat yeah like the boat randomly flying in a random direction yes that boat didn't last for very long let's just put it that way Ah, uh, bowling, bowling fort, bowling, bowling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back, come back. No, 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 no. You don't get to go down there. No power in the verse can stop me. Stop it. Come here. Hey, Lisa Milo. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Appreciate it very much. And I've said it before, but I, I like this game way better than I like Stranded Deep. Um, I, I like that it's chill. I like that it doesn't... Uh, you know, they aren't trying to push it out, but at the same time, they are constantly working on this game and giving us new content and new stuff to experience and have fun with all the time. And uh, I feel that they actually give a crap, which honestly, to me, is the most important thing with any game is to feel like they actually care. And the devs for this game have been, I mean, I even had a YouTube uh, viewer message me or leave a comment on youtube that he was having a problem with the game not loading for him properly and so he contacted the gamers uh, gamers for gamers team and they fixed the problem for him they fixed him right up got him ready to go and he's like yeah it was great they got me got me all set and and took care of my issue for me which i thought was pretty freaking awesome But like I said, I have a prejudice in the in, in I have a prejudice in everything uh, dealing with gamers for gamers because they've been very 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 super kind to my channel and have been uh, really generous in in their time and the attention that they give to this game. Wow, look at that sunset over there. <laughs>
And the thing I like most about them is that they continually are putting out good stuff for the game. Can you sleep on a boat? Yes, you can. Uh, on your Not on your canoe, but on your boat, you can actually attach beds. You can attach drying racks. You'll soon be able to attach dew catchers. Uh, you can attach uh, log holders. Um, there's, there's, a, there's several things you can attach. You can attach, of course, crates and stuff to your boat. But yes, you can actually attach a bed to your boat um, if you want to. And, 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 I, and I actually recommend it because it, it's actually kind of nice to have that bed there. I found actually on my long journey to this cluster, because the journey to this cluster took us about, I think it took us between 7 and 14 days in-game to travel from this from one cluster to another. And, and um, I found that the best way to travel was travel at night when it's cool and sleep during the day when it's hot because we lost way less water consumption doing it that way. Um, because when you travel, you pretty much are doing fast travel the whole time. Um, and so you're speeding up your days and nights. And it can really, you can go through a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. I think I lost my paddle. Yeah, I lost my paddle. That's funny. My paddle's floating out somewhere in the ocean. My paddle lies over the ocean. My paddle lies over the sea. My paddle lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my paddle to me. Oh, really? There we go. There we go. Problem solved. We are a problem solver. Wow, look at all the coconuts on this island. Crud. Crud city. Look at all the coconuts on this island. Jeez Louise. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Steadily day. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go and look to the north here. There's H. Oh, there, oh, there's, there's some more islands. Yeah, I figured we had to go up to the north to find more islands. Yep, there's another one there. There's C. There's I. There's D. Oh, yeah, we got more islands. Look, H looks, H, H looks huge. H looks huge. Oh, my goodness. That, that looks like a good island. That looks like a really nice island. All right, so wow, we got a lot of coconuts here, a lot of coconuts. I think I'm gonna break open a few of these. Just drink out of the coconuts since we got the water here. I'm gonna grab the husks too. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Probably have to drop. Oh yeah. I got way too much stuff on me. I got pots on me. That's that's the problem. Let's go put our pots in the in the crate here. Put all those coconut pots in there. Put the cups in there. Put the coconut itself. Oh, actually, let's just drop that. Drop that coconut. Put the coconut husks in there coconut in there there we go there's a nice little carving rock that i'll tell i'll always take a carving rock heck yeah free carving rock i don't have to do anything for <laughs> half is the best person on the planet at any respect of this game it's it's his raft tetris i love raft tetris i've i've spent a lot of time getting stuff to load right I have. I, I, I have spent a lot of time getting things to load right on this game before. Um, it, it's it, it's it's a little bit you, you can you can you can manipulate these back just a little bit further if you want to.
but uh, you'd have you'd have to really decide to do that. All right, let's gather some more water while we can. <laughs> I like how the I like how those all stack up. Oh, they're slipping. They're slipping. They're slipping. They're slipping. But they're all filling up still. That's pretty funny. Oh, there's another free carving rock. Let's see, where did I leave my Ah, uh, here we go. Oops, I picked that up. Packing for, for vacation. Yeah, well, you know what? This is a vacation our, our sailor did not expect. The sailor did not expect this vacation at all. So he there was no way he could have packed for this thing. At least it's at least it's warm. At least it's still like, well, it's 35. 35 out, you know. Um, I'm gonna take uh That barrel off and just fill these up. Boop a doo, boop a doo, boop a doo. There we go. Well, well, well. The rain's coming down. I have no shelter. I have nothing I can do. Let's craft ourselves up a uh, frond bed. We'll put it underneath a tree. That's like your basic, your basic thing is you can find a tree that you can snuggie up under. See, if you find a tree you can snuggie up under, your wetness actually goes down. So the wetness, the wetness is the main thing you have to be concerned with. All right, how many long sticks do I need? Uh, and I need one more long stick, and I have a small stick. I need one more long stick. Yeah, it gets it gets it gets dark out here, boys and girls. You think it gets dark in the long dark? It gets dark in Escape the Pacific, big time. When the, when it's cloudy and nasty outside, and there's no uh, there's no uh, moonlight or anything, it is super dark. Believe me, I can barely see. If I put it on night vision, it'll be like really green for you, but you guys can see a little bit better. But yeah, it gets it gets really dark in this game super fast. Unless I have that open and then it's not so dark anymore. Alright. So let's get our hammer out. Alrighty, there we go. Switch off that. Get into tiredness mode. Sleep till sunrise. <sighs> yes, we're going to play Icarus in about 15 minutes. We'll be playing Icarus in about 15 minutes, boys and girls. Watch you slide Aloy into oblivion on YouTube. Stop to check. Oh, Sam. Oh, oh man. I tell you, man, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that game so much, Python Papa. I really, really, really enjoyed uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, it just, it's just, a, it's just a fantastically good game with a really kind of unique story to it that you really don't see anywhere else. I mean, I, I've never seen that kind of end of the world take, you know, before. So that that was that was really, really cool how they did how they did that story. Very impressive, and and the game was fun too. And the game the game was a lot of fun too. So, and seriously, killing robot dinosaurs, fighting robot dinosaurs, never gets old. It just it just never gets old. I can't wait for the next one to come out. I really truly can't. There's our new paddle. Isn't that wild too? Look at the light. The moonlight's really good here. And then you go under the trees and it gets really dark under the trees. 
Like the, the the light in this game is very very directional, and very it's I I really like the way they've lighted the game, because the shadows and everything really have a lot of play. In the game, the way it is. Let's uh, let's just uh, oh, am I really hungry? I'm a little hungry. Jeez, Louise, dude, you think you'd be like starving here or something? Golly. Uh, let's actually make a little fire. We'll cook those up. I need the fire sticks first. Get some rocks and put those around our fire. But we found a little fire spot that's already abandoned, so we'll just pick up the rocks. As long as you pick up the rock, put it in your pocket. Pick up the rock, put it in your pocket. You can get pretty much every rock you need from that one thing. Which is very nice. Probably needed a wash. I was cracking up. <laughs> I just, I just really liked the way they did that. Did that game? It was just very good. It, it was just, it was, it was just a very good game. Your stick. Build our fire. You always want, you always want to sort of build your fire up first. You can put these chickens down on it. Oh, you by the way, you can you can cook you can cook cook your coconut flesh if you want to. I don't recommend uh, making a fire though before you have plenty of fuel to put in it, because the fires do burn down very quickly. Very very quickly they burn down. So you want to definitely definitely have. Um, I don't have any jars that are sealed. Okay, well, that's fine. The The fires definitely burn down super quick. But that, that just has to do with the way the games... It, it, that has more to do with the time, the speed that is on the game than anything else. Um, so you want to have, have a lot of small sticks in your hands. Uh, you want to sort of build the fire up before you do anything else. And have a bunch of small sticks hanging around. Build up to like a big campfire. That way you got that way you got a lot of time on it before it'll go out. There we go. Let's actually grab a few of these cups real quick. Make a little salt. Where'd my other cup go? Did I drop it? I did drop it. Even had that rope pull wire Star Wars thing and the tall walkers of Enterprise saucer heads. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, the coconut flesh is almost done. There we go. Coconut flesh is done. Those raw meats are almost cooked. Now, coconut flesh, when it, it gives you just like 10. It's not, it's not the greatest thing in the world to eat, but hey. It doesn't give you any vitamin C or anything once you cook it, but it does last longer, so. Okay, the meats are getting good. Do 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 do. I usually make the water in the in the smallest goblet possible because it doesn't matter how much water you use, uh, it always leaves you one tenth of a uh of a thing for the uh for the salt wow those are already those are already that bad a condition really well i'll eat those up really quick oh yeah because they were rotting for a while weren't they 
Yeah, they were rotting for a while. At least it's salted now. Yeah, see, I lost 2% health to eating that. Lost another 3% health eating that. <laughs> but hey, at least we got to eat them, right? At least we got to eat them. We can get, we can get that health back. We can get the health back. That's no big deal. Now, actually, you know what? Let's sleep on... Let's actually sit on the beach. We'll speed up time with you. And we'll watch the moon go down. Isn't that cool? You can actually see... You can actually see the... If you speed up, you can actually watch the stars move across the sky. See the moon go down. sun come up look at the turtle he's trying guys he's trying he's trying go for it, buddy go for it you got this bro you ain't got it bro oh we got a little more water a little more uh, rain too throw those in there get that in there Put away our fire starter. Feathers in there. Did we have a ship around here? Yes, we did. Did we dive down to the ship? I think we... Did we dive down? I think we did dive... No, did we dive down? No, we didn't dive down. We did not dive down to the ship, boys and girls. Making sure there's nothing else around here. And see, our health has gone back up to 100. All we had to do was sleep a little bit. We're fine. This island really doesn't have a whole lot going for it. I mean, there's like a papaya tree. Um, there's a lot of coconuts. It's got like, it, you know, a few papayas fell. But there's not really that much that draws me to this island as a, like a place I'd want to stay. You know what I'm saying? So I think what we're going to name this island is a, uh, we're going to name this island, uh, low interest, low interest. There we go. We have low interest in this island. There's the turtle seagull isle. There's land ho. That's where we landed. There's the large papaya isle. Uh, there's two papaya isle right beyond that. There's D. I see there's a new island we've never scanned over there. I say we go to H next. I say we go to H because there's two islands beyond H, and I'm curious to see what's beyond H as well. I'm very curious to see what's beyond H. Erica Lee, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hey, we might as well get water while we're here, right, boys and girls? Am I right or am I right? I am doing amazing. I'm having a fun, fun day today. We had fun with we had fun with Long Dark, and now we're having some fun with Escape the Pacific. And shortly we'll be having some fun romping around in Icarus a little bit. Um, I'm I, I'm actually very excited to play Icarus again. Um, I I I'm good. today we are we're gonna do a mission, but but we aren't really gonna do the mission that hardcore mainly today is going to be about exploring getting some xp uh figuring out uh you know figuring out what sort of showing off the building the building aspect of stuff that you can do um showing off maybe some of the clothing we can get i'd like to get to like level 20 25 somewhere around there um and be able to get some of the cooler weapons uh get the forging going on get some items uh get some iron and stuff like that so uh we'll play with the talking people again no uh today i'm just today, today i'm just gonna do i'm gonna hit it solo today we're just gonna hit it solo and and have some fun with it Yeah, the game is definitely, definitely geared towards multiplayer play. Uh, it's virtually impossible to do a lot in the game solo. 
Um, they definitely, definitely want you to play with other people. But I, I think, I think if you play solo, you won't be able to play so much on the weekends. But, uh, you know, once the game is fully released, I think you could take it slower and build up your stuff and kind of have fun and, and, you know, then you could like try to do some of the mission stuff. It definitely is a lot harder solo though. I did not redeem dance dance. That is so weird, Phantom Sith. On the screen, it says I redeemed it. it. Said I redeemed it. I didn't redeem it. You redeemed it. You redeemed it. I don't know why I get the credit for it. I didn't want the credit for it. Do 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 do. But boys and girls, I highly, uh, you know, I highly recommend if you've never played Escape the Pacific before. And it's a very chill game. It's fun. It's chill. There's not a lot of danger to it. Um, it still is in early development, so there is going to be a lot of bugs, glitches, other problems, but they're very receptive to you giving them feedback. Not only giving you feedback, but actually fixing problems for you. Um, the fast travel's not gone yet, Mark Wars, so you just, you just, you just watch it. Just watch it. Um... But and it's only fifteen bucks, and it, it it may and it may go on sale here before very long. So, no, give me give me my pad, give me my paddle. Mark Wars is like, you give me a pad, you give me your paddle, I'll paddle you, sir. Uh, nope, we're gonna do Icarus in about, well, now. <laughs> we just got to this island though. I wanted to check it out real quick. I want to check out my little new island. Ooh, we got some, got some nice things for planks here. Let's get our map out. See what we got here. We got J and K. We got J and K there. Those are two new islands we've not seen before. Let's scan out over here real quick. C looks like garbage. Eyes way out there. Looks like this chain is not the biggest chain, but I mean, it's got, it's got, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven islands so far, but we haven't been out to these ones. Maybe there's more islands beyond. Now, I know there's nothing to the south and nothing to the east, so it has to expand out this way. Dece oh, it may be delayed till December 4th, maybe longer. Oh, that sucks. Well, hopefully it's not too much longer. I've been enjoying the beta weekends. Those have been fun. Where's my raft? Oh, here's my raft. Okay. All right. So we're going to snag ourselves a save point here. There we go. Boom. So if you enjoy this game, it's a pretty fun game. It's only 15 bucks. Uh, I'm playing on the experimental server. Uh, they do have a system here where you can bug report stuff, which is really nice. I'm playing the experimental server. They also have what's called a stable server. The experimental server you have to actually opt into the beta for. Um, I like the experimental because it offers a lot more stuff. Oh, snap. 